Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 8 raised to power 8 times 8 raised to power 8 divided by 8 raised to power 8 plus 8 raised to power 8 equals to 8 raised to power x. From here, we can rewrite this as 8 raised to power 8 plus 8 on the law of indices. We have same base here. Then we can add the power. Then divided by here we have 8 raised to power 8 plus 8 raised to power 8. That's same thing as 2 8 raised to power 8. That's 2 times 8 raised to power 8, which is equals to on this side we can change it to base 2. That's 2 raised to power 3. Then raised to power x. Then on this left hand side now this becomes 8 raised to power 8 plus 8 then that's 16 then divided by here as well we can change this to base 2 as well and this is 2 times 2 raised to power 3 then raised to power 8 then from there it is equals to 2 raised to power 3 then raised to power x, that's 3x. When this multiply, so we have 3x here. And from here, also we can change this as well to base 2. And this will be 2 raised to power 3. Then times 16. Here we have over 8 multiplied 3 here. That's 2 times 2 raised to power 24. Then equals to three two raised to power. We have two raised to power three x. Then when we solve this further from here, we have sixteen times three as well here. So that become two raised to power forty eight. Then divided by here we have two raised to power one, and then we have same base as well. The multiply so we have the power. So we have divided by 2 raised to power 1 plus 24, which is 25, then equals to 2 raised to power 3x. And then from here, also when we apply the law of indices, we have a raised to power n, m, divided by a raised to power n. So we have same base. Then we can simply write this as a raised to power m minus n. So here, since they divide, we can subtract the power, and from here, this will be 2 raised to power 48 minus 25 equals to 2 raised to power 3x. Then from here, we have 48 minus 25 as 23, so that's 2 raised to power 23 equals to 2 raised to power 3x. Then the base are equal here. We have same base, then we can equate the power, and we have 23 equals to 3x, and then we can divide both sides by 3, and 3 cancel 3 here, remain x. So x here, x now equals to 23 over 3. So we have the solution to the problem as 23. Over three. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up. See you in the next class and bye for now.